Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you um, another awesome trick of how to do data validation. So um, in my last video, I showed you how to validate your cell and highlight them quickly uh, if you find out they're formula driven um, or they're overwritten. But um, what if you just simply want to uh, highlight any cell that was changed from your original spreadsheet, like no, ma no matter regardless of whether they're formula driven or not or not uh, i'm gonna show you here so again this is a spreadsheet like um you can see this is about uh merit increase some cells are just pure data um some cells are formula driven um yeah so but regardless let's say this is the master spreadsheet i have and then i'm sending it to someone else for a view or for change and now what i want to do is that whatever cell that they change for example right now if i change this cell to zero no format is going to happen and i wouldn't know they made a change so um i want to do some conditional format so that whatever change they make to whatever cell i would know instantly and they would know as well so how do we do that so first this is your original spreadsheet um just before we do any format change um actually copy uh, make a copy of exactly the same thing you can name it to what whatsoever like i'm just gonna name it to be original so this is the original spreadsheet with data that you have with all the formulas and let's say this is the one that you're sending it out to someone else for any data change okay so now actually let's uh just select any um all the, let's say all the cells here um could be potentially changed let's say you didn't lock any cell uh, someone might just overwrite uh, the performance rating uh, or they may just simply made an error and then you know just change the name of the person um, regardless let's format it so just select any cell and uh, you go to conditional format and then create a new rule so you Again, like go to the use of formula to determine which cell to format. So this is, let's say this is a cell that you want to format. So the formula here is actually equal uh, the reference of the cell, which cannot have absolute reference, which means like the dollar sign before it. And then you want to say if uh, I found the content of cell A10 is equal to um, the same A10 in my spreadsheet of original and again you should remove the reference uh the absolute reference let's say if those two cells um are identical then we make no change but if they're not identical which means that the statement is false then we format it and then you click on the format and you can format it to uh, whatever you want so for example in my case i want to format it to be uh, yellow fill uh, but uh, with uh, like red uh, color and i want to bold it uh, for myself as well okay so that is format that i want to show and then i okay it so now um it's already conditional formatted it's not um changed because the uh, the content is, is identical but let me overwrite it here we go so you can see as long as you overwrite it to something else it's gonna change the content is gonna change automatically um so that is uh the conditional format that we want to apply and then uh now you have the conditional format formula written for the cell go to format paint and then basically copy this format to all your um, spreadsheet and then you can see it's actually uh, already overwritten and then sometimes like you might need to uh, read like change the format for some of your cells for example here i want it to be um, in percent uh, the date of hire i want it to be in the date format um so yeah you might need to make some change but then the awesome thing here is now you can do whatever change you want and then excel is going to tell you instantly so for example this comp ratio um well actually the comp ratio should be in the percent um as well 
And then let's say you know what, like I look at this spreadsheet, I'm like, uh, for this person, I don't think the performance rating should be three, it should be five. Let me change it. And automatically, um, it's changing not only in this cell, but all the cells that's affected by the change of this cell. And then let's just try something else. Let's say this, like I just had a pure typo here, like I changed it to D. And then it's highlighted instantly. And then when you review this uh, spreadsheet, you know instantly, you know what, well, that's a typo that should be, that shouldn't be there. Um, and then you can also change anything else uh, that you want. So for example, uh, I notice, you know what, well, the date of hire is not right. Uh, let me change it to something else. Instantly it's, it's changed. So any, any change you made in this uh, spreadsheet will be automatically captured. And um, 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 yeah, and uh, here you go. So that is uh, very, very awesome. Um, when you have multiple people uh, editing the same spreadsheet and then you want to keep the data sanity as much as possible. Okay, so that is one trick that I want to share with you today and I hope that you like it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.